and welcome to this look at loot chest commands. We're going to start with like the simplest way that we might want to do that. So the simplest way is normally a set block command. So we're going to want to summon a chest, and now we're going to need it to have a loot table in there. So we're going to do a loot table, and then we're going to do this, and we're going to specify. There's all different types of chests that you can get, and you just need to know the names and which ones to actually go for. We're going to look at the stronghold library for this example, and I'll, I'll get into some other ones at a, another point. And then we can close that, and we're going to get this. So you can see there is our stronghold library chest. So it might be useful to put this into a give command. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this whole structure here, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to write a give command. So we'll do this, and then we'll paste that in. There's one extra piece we want to put in here. We need to put a curly brace at the end here. And at the beginning, we're going to put a little bit extra, and that's just going to be the block entity tag with a colon. And then you can see we did double ones, but you can see we've got a bunch of those chests now. Okay, what other ways we could do it? Well, we could do a summon command as well. So again, we'll paste that in, and we're just going to separate this. We're going to put a chest minecart here instead, and then we're going to specify where we're going to want it. So we'll just do it again nearby. There you can see we've got, for instance, one there. Well, there's different ways we could do it. Like, for instance, we could do a fill command, right? And we could say just want a few of these in a row. Put that in. You can see we've got a bunch of these in a row. This is a command that I've used in this video on the top right-hand corner here with the area effect cloud. This is a little bit uh, fancier. We've got the particle mob spell. But you can see all I've done is I've put various different chests in here. So you can see, you can do a maximum of three just because of the limits to the actual length of stuff you can do. And you can see how it looks. Just we've got various different, so you can see we've got buried treasure, we've got the uh, stronghold library, and the final one was the pillager outpost. So when we run this command, you can see it's gonna create that chest there. And there's, for instance, that. And if we just move along with it, you can see we're gonna have all those three different types of chest. We combine it now with the spread players command. So what you can do with the spread players command, you can specify any entity. We've got a bunch of chests with all different loot inside of them. If we run this command, let's take a look, see what happens. You can see it's gonna to start to put them all in different places. So I could run that again, let's take a look. So this can move the chests around, it will specify the distance between them all. I could bring them over here, for instance. Where you have false here, you can see you can do under as well. So this means, that, say you wanted these chests to be, say in a much larger area, say underground, and then you could do max height here, right? So then you could have them all underground. So that's all I really wanted to talk about today. So thanks for watching.